What's up my YouTube family, Sergeant Greybeard back with another Division 2 video. Today is Monday, April 12th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. As most of you know by now, the game has been pretty radio silent in regards to anything that's happening behind the scenes. However, I do receive a lot of questions here at the channel, so today I'd like to try to answer some of them and go over some of your feedback. Now, if you happen to be new here, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really, really helps us out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways here, and our current one is for a $100 gift card to either Xbox, PlayStation, or Steam, depending on which platform you're running. The winner will be announced on May 1st of this year, and all you need to do to enter is either subscribe here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. As always, my friends, please keep in mind that watching our content is not a requirement to win. Only watch the things here you may enjoy. That's why you have the option of entering via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. So as we start off, I want to mention something really quick. I, you guys are absolutely amazing, first of all. And I get a lot of messages asking why I'm not doing these news videos on a weekly basis. And that's really because there's nothing new to report. However, I always want to make sure I take time at least every two weeks and let you know what's going on in the community. And the main reason I bring that up is I've received some messages asking me, you know, since I started doing new content for Outriders, does that mean I'm going to be doing the Division 2 less? And the answer is no. You're still going to get build videos, farming videos, weekly vendor resets, all that stuff, and news as often as it's, you know, happens. Most of you know by now how much I love this game, and more importantly, how much I love the Division 2 community. So I'm not going anywhere, I will continue to make content. There happen to be a lot of new players to the game as well, so again, I'm still optimistic on what the future may hold. With that being said, let's now get into one of the most commonly asked questions I've been getting recently at the channel, and that has to do with loot quality when it comes to directives. And this has really been something that a lot of you have polarizing opinions on, so I want to take a quick second and talk about it. So as the game is mentioned multiple times, the higher the difficulty and the more directives you have active will increase the chances of the targeted loot you're looking for dropping, as well as the quality of that loot being higher than it normally would be. However, recently a lot of you have reached out because your characters are getting stronger because all we have right now, I mean the only thing we have to do right now is farm. So that's a good thing in a way, don't get me wrong, I wish there was more content, but all we have to do is look to improve our current builds so a lot of you are able to jump from one difficulty to another. With that being said, to try a different variation, many of you are now doing more directives than you normally would, but you're finding it's more of a pain in the ass than it actually is challenging or rewarding, meaning it just doesn't seem to be worth your time, and from my experience, I've gotten the best loot on Heroic with no directives at all. And as I say that, there are two important factors to keep in mind. First of all, play how you want to play. Enjoy the game, that's what it's all about. And secondly, each player's experience is going to be different in regards to what kind of loot they get and how they get it. For instance, I hear from players who swear by playing a legendary in the summit for directives, and they've shown me videos of the loot they're getting, and it's amazing. And I try it, and I just get garbage. So again, find something that works for you and try to stick to that. And this is where, as always, my friends, I count on you, my YouTube family. Let me know what's going on in your gameplay. You know, do you play with directives? Does it actually work? Do you see a difference with the difficulties, with the directives, all that stuff? I'd love to get a better baseline of what's actually going on for players. The next thing I'd like to talk about is PvP in the Dark Zone. And, you know, it's one of those things where they have been neglected for so long in regards to just crashing and cheating and glitches and all this stuff going on. And this is coming from someone who never sets foot in the Dark Zone at all. However, as most of you know, my main goal at this channel is to try to help gamers out. So regardless of my personal gameplay, I want to talk about things that are actually going on. And these are issues that gamers have been having for months and months and months, and nothing seems to be done about it. Now, we all know that the game is mentioned. We're not going to hear anything about new content or whatever until maybe at the earliest, you know, I'd say the third quarter of the year. However, that being set aside, we were promised quality of life improvements, and that is one aspect that they need to start working on ASAP. So if you happen to be someone that does play in the Dark Zone, please take a second, let me know what's going on in your gameplay down below, because I want to have an idea for what players are dealing with. I know the loot has not been that great, but other than that, what's been happening for you? 
Next, my friends, I want to take a moment and talk about the communication between the game and its players. Now, they did just put out a tweet about an hour ago saying that they fixed an issue where PC players would be unable to use keyboard and mouse after suspending and resuming the game. Now, that's going to coincide with this week's weekly maintenance, which, you know, happens every Tuesday. We all know that. But I think one thing a lot of us want to hear is just something from the game in regards to that they're listening, they're, they're working on what the future is going to look like. Just any details would be great. Now, as I say that, I know that anything that's on an official, you know, Ubisoft, Massive, uh, whatever, Division 2 Twitter account, it has to be approved by PR before it can be sent. And I know they're not going to send us anything major, but just like a little sliver of hope, something would be so appreciated. And for those of you that may be wondering, well, why don't people who work with the game or developers or game designers or something like that, you know, tweet something out from their account, they can't do that. They have non-disclosure agreements. And not only that, I mean, they may want to share everything with us, but they know right now is not the time. And as I start to wrap this video up, I want to once again remind you, we are all on the same team. You know, development, game designers, artists, everyone, programmers, the gamers, we all want this game to succeed and really reach its full potential. With that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this video up. However, as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your continued support. You guys are just, you guys are absolutely amazing. I sincerely appreciate, you know, you're being a part of this family. And again, I'm really looking forward to the future. Like most of you know by now, my main goal here is to help out gamers in any way I can. That also includes our working together. So if you have any questions, comments, tips, feedback, whatever it may be, let me know in the comment section down below. At this point, my friends, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. However, as I mentioned earlier, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, as always, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Assistance needed. Supply room access.